insane. We've almost known each other for 10 years now. We met in 2014. Yeah, I remember that. Well, funny story. So what's your first memory of, his, of us meeting? Because I have probably a totally different one. We met at that bar on ASU. Okay. So that's your memory. Well, oh, no, I do remember. I, I met you as right a after. total fanboy. Yes. I remember, what was it, 2012, I want to say. That's when, so I started my YouTube channel in 2012. I was really trying to start, get you know, going and uploading. And me and Chris were working on Big Dots TV and stuff like that. We had just, just moved out to Arizona. And I remember Chris coming into uh, my room because we shared an apartment together, a two-bedroom apartment. I remember this like it was yesterday. He comes to my room. He's like, bro, I just found like the funniest guy on YouTube. I have to show you him. I'm like, okay, who is it? He's like, it's this guy named Andrew. And he pulls up your channel and you had 100,000 subscribers at the time, which to us was like you were a god. <laughs> like if you had 100,000 subscribers, people didn't have a lot of subscribers back then. There, and was, there was a time I was like the top 500. Yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, in yeah. 2012. Yeah, that, this is when we found you. And um, I, at the time, I think we had like 300 subs maybe. And That's it, not even no, 1,000. Like, like 300. Wow. And he comes in and he pulls up the video of you like trying to kiss girls in the library. Oh, God. And I was like, holy shit, this guy is phenomenal. <laughs> Hold on. Trying to kiss girls in the library. It was, a, it was in Utah. I think it might have been snowing. Yes, yeah, yeah. Or maybe I'm thinking of the wrong video. But anyways, he showed me a couple of your videos. Yeah, yeah. And from that moment on, like, you were like the gold standard of like, I, I want to, you know, shape my channel like this guy. You're actually the reason why I started filming on college campuses. I'd never even thought of that. And I lived five minutes down the road from ASU. Colleges are the shit. Because before you, I was looking up to like Jack Vale and Ed Bassmaster. And they filmed... In the hood, in Walmarts, you know, like grocery stores. Right. And I'd never even thought about filming at colleges. It changed the entire course of what I did. So it's a whole different dynamic at colleges. It's, you know, young people, they they can take a joke much easier. Yeah. It's a lot safer of yeah, an it's environment. Not the real world. There's hotter girls, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Etc. It's pretty crazy. So that's how I. Long story short, I know I kind of went on a tangent there, but no. anyways, so I started like following you um, and like you're my biggest role model and I went to film on a trip to California. I went to UCSB, Santa Barbara. You were filming uh, there with whatever. So with Brian and uh, the girl's name is on Andrea, Andrea, Andrea. Yeah, yeah. I've met her a couple of times. She's a super cool girl. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, you walked right by me and I saw you and I was like, holy shit. I was like, he's about to prank me. He's about to prank me. You walked right by me. I turned to my friend. I was just freaking out. Like I almost pissed my pants. I was like, bro. And at this point you had over a million subs. I, no, I do kind of remember that. I remember you being like, dude, I'm yeah. Big DOS TV or whatever. And I was like, oh, cool, dude. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah. I think I was probably like a little drunk too or whatever. Probably. Yeah. And so, yeah, you had a million subs and I, I, I literally like I was like shaking so I went back, you know, told you I was there filming pranks too, blah, blah, blah. Uh, asked for a picture. There's there's a picture of us, which I should have grace. And if I can find it, I should have grace and put it on the screen. Uh, we, we both look super young. And so, yeah, I was freaking out like for like a week about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the weekend right after I posted the Macklemore prank. Maybe. And yeah. I think it was the Halloween weekend, actually. Right. Yeah, because you went out to the bars and you're like wearing that fur coat. Right. Yeah. And that was when Macklemore was popping. Yeah. So yeah. it must have been a good time for you. Yeah. So <laughs> anyways, full circle. Uh, how, how much longer after that was when we actually collabed? Because I remember being like super annoying, like messaging you all the time. Like, hey, oh, man, I, I want to collab. I, I No, it was about a year later. I, and I, Probably just, so. I just happened to be in Phoenix. Yeah. Or Mesa or whatever. You're, I think you were, I you tweeted posted, or something. I posted something like I'm at ASU and then you tweeted or something dm'd or whatever and hey man i'm here let's collab and i was like all right sure we met up for i think it was we met at like a mexican restaurant had some drinks yeah yeah you me and keb keb and then cody from angry picnic yeah yeah and uh and yeah and that's how we all kind of met shit, it's been a long time since then it's so long yeah and then 
few months later, you came to Utah and we did some shit. Coming on too strong, the girls. Yep, that was a classic. <laughs> yeah, that popped off. I think that's at around five billion or something. Something like that. That was on uh, ridiculousness too. It was. Yeah. Oh, I think I kind of remember telling them, "Yeah, go ahead, and go ahead and use it." Because <laughs> <laughs> I just saw like, so, "Hey, so many emails. yeah." 